It's a little up and down this week, but we're hoping for a cool down sometime in the not too distant future. We'll talk about when that is coming up in a bit. Right now, a gas shortage in the triad is continuing and it's driving prices up. AAA says the average for a gallon of regular is 220 in the triad. It was just 205 a week ago. This all started in Alabama with a gas pipeline leak. The company that owns it, Colonial Pipeline, is working on a temporary fix. It'll bypass the leak and bring fuel back to our area. More than 300,000 gallons of gas have leaked out since this was discovered on September 9th. Five states at least are feeling the serious effects of a shortage right now. Colonial has not shared an official timetable for that effort as to when things will get back to normal. And drivers in our area are seeing a lot of gas pumps with the bags over them. Yes, they are. A lot of people wondering when this will all come to an end. Bethany Moore joins us live now in Greensboro at one of those impacted gas stations and details about what the governor is doing to help ease the pain. Bethany. Good morning. Yes, the governor says he's speaking with Colonial Pipeline to try to get an answer on when we might get some relief. But in the meantime, this is what people are seeing. You can see over here there's bags on the gas pumps and a sign here explaining what happened, why there isn't any gas here. And I can tell you at this station all morning long, we've seen people come in, see these you know signs and these bags over the, ga over the gas pumps and have to immediately drive back out. Now, as you said, that this is all because of the Colonial Pipeline, which transports fuel from the Gulf Coast, which was shut down after an oil spill. A temporary pipeline is being constructed. Drivers have been rushing to the pumps in the triad, fearing gas may run out, and it has at several stations. Drivers who could find gas are having to pay more for it and get it more often. We normally come here and buy our gas at least twice a week, but not two days in a row. Everybody's coming in and running up and buying a lot of gas here lately since the pipe busted. Now, Colonial Pipeline representatives have said that they will have that temporary pipeline in place by either the middle of this week or the end of this week. Reporting live, Bethany Moore, WXII 12 News.